After Reacher and Rebel Ridge success, it seems possible that even a remake of Clint Eastwood's Spaghetti Western, A Fistful of Dollars, might actually work. Although most details surrounding the upcoming remake of A Fistful of Dollars are under the covers, there is already an air of skepticism around it. Many viewers cannot help but believe that the classic Western does not need a remake because it stands the test of time, and remakes, in general, are known to often fall short of capturing the essence of the original. Given how the Dollars trilogy is often touted as one of the best movie franchises ever created, the remake has the massive responsibility of living up to the high standards set by the original films. Owing to this, it is understandable why many viewers already believe a fistful of Dollars remake is doomed to fail. However, a closer look at modern day takes on a fistful of Dollars lone wolf and mysterious stranger tropes in shows and movies like Rebel Ridge and Reacher raises hope that the remake could etch its identity in the Western genre. Reacher and Rebel Ridge highlight the enduring appeal of lone wolf characters. Both the show and the movie have been successful with their portrayals of modern lone wolves. The lone wolf trope has probably existed since the earliest days of storytelling, and its origins can likely be traced to ancient myths and legends. However, despite being one of the oldest storytelling devices, especially in the action genre, it still seems to have an undying appeal. This has been proven by the success of modern shows like Amazon's Reacher, which adopts the trope by portraying Jack Reacher as a solitary figure who proudly calls himself a hobo. In each new season of the series, Reacher arrives in a new town as a mysterious stranger and serves justice to wrongdoers before fleeing the scene. Rebel Ridge's Terry Richmond does something similar by standing tall in the face of extreme corruption and injustice. Despite being pressed by the law enforcers of a small town, the character continues to embody resilience and moral conviction. Although Terry Richmond and Jack Reacher are unique in more ways than one, they can be seen as echoes of all the lone wolf characters that have captivated audiences throughout history yet, even though they seem familiar, it is hard not to be compelled by their conviction to take down oppression and their courage to stand alone. Even from a critical standpoint, both Rebel Ridge and Reacher have performed incredibly well. While Rebel Ridge boasts a Rotten Tomatoes critic score of 96%, Reacher has averaged a score of 95% across two seasons. Both highlight how audiences would enjoy seeing a new take on A Fistful of Dollars, which is known for portraying one of the most badass lone wolf characters. Clint Eastwood's The Man With No Name is one of the best lone wolf characters in cinema. He embodies all the qualities one expects to see in such a character. Even though Clint Eastwood's The Man With No Name defies all societal norms, he carries himself with a sense of discipline and resolve that demands respect. Although he lets his actions do most of the talking, his words can be as piercing as the bullets from his gun because he puts immense thought behind everything he says. What makes the man with no name all the more intriguing is that he does not represent the typical morally righteous hero. There is always an air of ambiguity surrounding his morality as he helps the oppressed while also seeking personal gains with his iconic squinty eyes and cold delivery of the man with no name's memorable quotes, Clint Eastwood also creates a striking visual and emotional impact in every sequence from the movie trilogy. Although his dialogue is minimal, he carries himself with a sense of commanding stoicism and charisma that draws all the attention towards him every time he shows up on the screen. As a viewer, it is also hard not to be fascinated by how a character like the man with no name epitomizes independence and self-sufficiency by single-handedly taking down formidable enemies. Reacher and Rebel Ridge prove it's a good time for a fistful of dollars remake. They prove audiences are ready to see a contemporary take on the spaghetti western. In many ways, A Fistful of Dollars is a product of its time. Owing to this, any efforts to recreate it will undoubtedly be risky. However, when it comes to its storytelling structure and thematic explorations of power dynamics, justice, and survival, many successful shows and movies like Rebel Ridge and Reacher have demonstrated that audiences still crave narratives that explore these enduring ideas. If done well, a Fistful of Dollars remake could hop on the same wave and satiate the hunger audiences have for witnessing badass, morally ambiguous characters that take down the wealthy, the wicked, and the powerful.